Hey, if you're a live performer and you use Ableton, you may have run into the issue where as soon as you MIDI map a parameter like expression or modulation, which are CCs 11 and 1 respectively, you lose the ability for those CCs to naturally pass through to other plugins. For example, my organ plugin, which I have here on bank two, so let me pull that up, naturally looks for CC11, so I'm moving my foot pedal right now, um, to change the swell pedal. It naturally looks for CC1 to change the Leslie speed. I didn't map any of that, that's just default with the plugin, and many synths also have similar things where modulation controls vibrato or CC11 controls volume, similar to the organ. That's great, love that. And I love that I don't have to map it, and I don't want to map it. But if I want to map something else, we run into a problem. So check out what happens if I map uh, modulation. I'm going to MIDI map it here in a second, but just to give you a taste, the synth patch I have. Modulation is macro map, so just nested in this uh, macro set, which is part of this on tap plugin, which if you're curious about that, I've got another video for it, but it's just about organizing banks and sounds. Um, but as soon as I turn up mod, it turns up the LFO. But this is a very elementary patch. It's not looking for CC1. I have to map it myself. And just to show you what that looks like, um, I've got the DCO LFO value mapped to mod, which in turn is just mapped all the way back to my first instance of mod here. So check it out. I will map it now to my mod wheel. CC1, channel 16, looks good. Hold the synth chord. Hold the synth pull the chord and I get the desired effect. But I'm gonna switch back over to my organ patch. And now I'm moving my mod wheel, but nothing's happening, right? So as soon as you MIDI map a parameter like this, Ableton cuts off the pass-through ability. I'm not sure why, it's kind of annoying, uh, but it's just a fact. So I built this Max for Live plugin to get the best of both, both worlds, essentially. Just to give you one more example, I have on my synth patch, I have expression uh, maps to volume of the rack, and you can see it changing there. So as I move it, um, so as I move expression, it changes the volume. I'll go ahead and MIDI map that to expression, CC11. Great, now my foot is controlling the volume of the synth. That's a very desirable effect. But the problem now is if I go back to my organ patch, neither CC1 or CC11 are working. I use modulation and expression all the time, and you can, especially the foot pedal, you can use it to control, control all sorts of fun stuff, but you don't want to lose the ability for it to pass through to the plugins that look for it. So this Max for Live plugin is very easy to use. You just map your modulation to your modulation, your expression to your expression, and now you get the best of both worlds. Right, I still have, if you delete those mini mappings, can you play the organ? Boom, it's working. Modulation changes the Leslie speed as desired, but at the same time, if I go to my synth sound, all those mappings that I manually added are also still present. So it's a very easy to use plugin and it's free on my website. Um, if you just put in your email, and then I'll probably spam you with some future tutorials, which I hope is okay with you. But there you go. I hope you find this useful. Um, it certainly is a lifesaver for me. Take care.